Let's start at the top office this afternoon. Ahead of her trip this week to Russia, China and Laos for a series of multilateral summits, President Park Geun-hye chaired her monthly meeting with her key aides this morning. The president called for full defence readiness against North Korea's threats. She also laid out her goals for those summits. Here's our presidential office correspondent, Song ji -sun. President Park began her message by stressing the severity of North Korean threats, which have now become an imminent danger to the South. Regarding the North ballistic missile launch last week, which was an apparent protest against Seoul and Washington's joint military drill, President Park warned that the survival of the nation and the people will be at risk if Pyongyang managed to load a nuclear warhead on its ballistic missiles. The president's message will be reiterated to world leaders at the upcoming Eastern Economic Forum, G20 and ASEAN summits where she'll call for stronger, coordinated international efforts to counter the unpredictable regime and see greater room for regional economic growth. Russia, Laos, and ASEAN Summit in the ASEAN Summit, we will discuss the cooperation on the cross-border economic cooperation and the development of a global economy. President Park vowed to take a leading role in open trade against recent protectionism on the global stage while calling for national unity against North Korean threats. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.